Our universe is filled with mysterious objects and occurrences that have baffled man since the dawn of time. To this day, scientists are scratching their heads over some questions about our universe. Amazing! To get you thinking, here are the top 10 unsolved mysteries of the universe. Number 10. The Multiverse the idea of a multiverse has long been debated in physics, but also in other fields such as philosophy, astronomy and psychology. Essentially, the multiverse theory states that aside from the universe we are currently in, there exist countless other universes that differ from ours to varying degree. There are a lot of variations on this theory, but the one that is most accepted is the many worlds theory. What it says is that everything that is a possible outcome happens in another universe. This means that, for example, a simple choice of drink Drinking tea in the morning creates another universe where you decided not to. Combined with the butterfly effect, this would lead to some universes where even the laws of physics would seem to have come from the mind of a madman. While this theory is subject to many heated debates, there has been no evidence to prove or disprove it. Until the day comes that scientists find evidence of other universes, this theory will be used to create wonders of science fiction, as it has for years. Number 9. Dark Matter Sounding like some supervillain's secret weapon, dark matter refers to a type of matter that takes up 84.5% of mass in the observable universe. Dark matter cannot interact nor can it emit electromagnetic radiation, which essentially makes it invisible to us, but it has been documented thanks to its properties that cause various gravitational distortions. What's mysterious is that we still do not understand how it came to be, meaning that there might be some unknown forces present in the universe that we have yet to discover. Number 8. White Holes These are hypothetical regions of space-time, which cannot be entered from the outside, but matter and light can escape from within it, meaning that they are essentially reverse black holes. In theory, white holes would essentially be a gravitational field that has zero mass, meaning that a white hole would constantly pull an object towards its centre, but the object would never reach it. White holes were first introduced by mathematicians that were simply having fun and decided to see what a black hole would be like if you took away all of the mass. Now, they are subject to a lot of research, and they might be able to explain how the Big Bang occurred, since at the beginning, all the matter created had to come from somewhere. But until this theory is actually proven, white holes will simply remain a topic of speech at mathematician parties. Number 7. Dark Energy Dark energy is an unknown form of energy that is hypothesized to exist all throughout space and is responsible for the acceleration of the universe's expansion. Assuming that the standard model of cosmology is correct, dark energy is said to contribute to 68.3% of the total energy present in the observable universe. There are several possible explanations for the existence of dark energy, but the most common one states that it is just simply needed. Called the cosmological constant, the theory states that dark energy is simply the cost of having space, meaning that the sheer volume of space has to have some fundamental energy. The main characteristic of dark energy is that it has a strong negative pressure, meaning it acts repulsively, which is why it is causing the acceleration of the universe's expansion. Scientists still struggle to explain the complete nature of dark energy, but when they do, that knowledge will provide us with the deepest understanding of the universe to date. Number 6. Missing Baryons when settling down to calculate the composition of our little universe, scientists put their heads together and combined all of the dark matter and dark energy and they got 95% of the total composition. The remaining detectable baryonic matter only comes up to about 2.5%, leaving 2.5% of baryonic matter unaccounted for. The leading theory that might actually find out where all the baryons went focuses on analysing the halo around our galaxy. Scientists have detected a lot of oxygen atoms that have lost most of their electrons in our galaxy's halo, which are located in a gas that is millions of degrees hot, which is far hotter than the surface of the sun. But since the oxygen atoms are too far away, we cannot make a correct estimate on the size of the area that this gas inhabits. Number 5. The Fermi Paradox this refers to a contradiction between the lack of evidence and the high probability of the existence of alien life. It is estimated that there should be between 1,000 and 100 million civilizations in our galaxy alone. But for some reason, we have not found them yet. The paradox has spawned a large number of theories as to why no alien life has been found. 
One such theory states that there exists a great barrier that prevents a species from evolving past it. Now this would make the discovery of microbial life, for example, a scary thought, since it would mean that the great barrier of evolution is not at that point, but rather at some other stage. This would mean that the great barrier that stops a civilization in its tracks is ahead of us and we might not survive. Apart from the Great Barrier Theory, there are theories that speak of ideas that are present in the dreams of sci-fi book writers. There is a theory that Earth itself is deliberately isolated and placed in something akin to a space zoo, where other intelligent races monitor our every move. There exist so many theories on this subject, yet we still have not found anything conclusive. Who knows, maybe we are alone after all. Number 4. Why is there more antimatter than matter? This question refers to an old problem in physics called the baryon asymmetry problem. The problem came to be because there is an imbalance in the number of matter and antimatter in the observable universe that cannot be explained by the standard model of particle physics, nor using general relativity. Scientists are scratching their heads because in order to find an explanation, they would have to modify the standard model of physics to fit the current observations. However, there is one theory that sadly cannot be proven today that states that current parts of the universe simply have a larger quantity of antimatter, and other parts have more matter. This theory would imply that antimatter repels regular matter, but sadly, this would contradict general relativity, meaning that we would have to change our understanding of the universe in order to prove this theory. To this day, there is no one agreed upon theory as to why this asymmetry of matter and antimatter is present. Number 3. Universe Reionization the reionization of the universe refers to the time period when all of the gas in the universe became ionized, meaning that their molecular structure changed with the removal of one or more electrons. It was one of the most important changes in the universe, since during this period the first radiating objects appeared. This period is actually responsible for the universe as we see it today, since before this epoch the universe was in the so-called dark ages. Understanding something that happened this long ago in the universe's past is very complicated and requires a lot of careful studying and planning, but there is currently a large amount of effort dedicated to understanding how this period started, with objects like quasars being used to look back into the universe's past and see how it all looked like before. But until we make new advances in physics and engineering, allowing us to peer into the past of our universe, we will not know what ended the dark ages and caused the first stars to be born. Number 2. Fermi Bubbles these were first discovered in 2010, and are two large bubbles invisible to the human eye, located above and below the centre of our galaxy. Scientists have only recently been able to discover the exact origin of these bubbles, and it seems like there are two large jets coming from the centre of our galaxy, dispersing matter and light outwards. There are currently two theories that try to explain this phenomenon. One says that the matter being thrown out from the centre is caused by a massive increase in star birth at the centre of our galaxy, which would cause a lot of matter to be present at the centre. Another theory states that the massive jet that sprays matter is coming from a supermassive black hole located in the centre of our galaxy. Black holes are known to eject matter, and a black hole that is in the centre of our galaxy would have the right mass to produce objects the size of Fermi bubbles. In any case, we still have much research to do, since the events that created these objects took place almost 20 million years ago. Number 1. The End of the Universe the ultimate fate of our universe is something long debated, and because of that, there are lots of different theories about how our universe will end. The main theory used to study the possible fate of our universe is Einstein's theory of general relativity, since every possible solution to its equation implies that there exists an ultimate fate of the universe, and there is no good outcome. There exists two leading theories about the universe's end, the Big Crunch, which is basically the opposite of the Big Bang, and it says that the universe will ultimately stop expanding due to gravity and start to implode, thus ending the universe. Another theory, which is actually the most probable one, is called the heat death of the universe. It implies that the universe will continue expanding at an exponential rate, and all of the galaxies will at one point be so far away from each other that there will be no light in the sky anymore. After this, matter will be evenly distributed, and the stars will not form anymore, and thus everything will end Look on the bright side though, none of us will be alive to see these events. Thanks for watching, and subscribe to Be Amazed.